Good morning, everybody. We are following some breaking news this morning out of Woodsville, New Hampshire, where all that rain we had this morning has led to some pretty serious flash flooding issues in that community. We're told that there is some street flooding there as a result of the rain. We're also told that a cottage hospital there in Woodsville that some of the flood water got inside that building. We're waiting to get more details on that. Again, some serious flash flooding issues there in the community of Woodsville. Uh, the State Emergency Operations Center in Concord, we're told, is monitoring this situation. They were also told that the Granite State Healthcare Coalition is monitoring the situation as a result of the flooding there at Cottage Hospital this morning. To add to this mix, there's also a multi alarm fire going on right now in the community of Bath nearby that could be weather related. Uh, there was a lot of lightning this morning and the path to get to, to the hospital could be hindered as a result of response to that fire. So a lot going on in that community. Kevin, we'll bring you in right now. We had a lot of rain in a short amount of time with a lot of lightning. Yeah, and I think those are the two main impacts from what we've been seeing play out since sunrise this morning. We've had some reports of some small hail and some brief wind gusts over 45 miles an hour. You will notice it is a much different picture right now here in the southern half of the state than it is farther north where we still have the flash flood warnings in effect depending on exactly where you are between 11 o'clock and 115 this afternoon. These flash flood warnings mean the conditions are favorable with that rain over that same area now in some spots seeing over two two, two and a half inches of rain already for the potential for additional flooding as we go forward. This includes the smaller rivers and streams, the normal flood prone areas and folks basements, as well as the potential in areas that you don't necessarily see flooding. So you have a light show going on there right now with frequent lightning. You have the very heavy rain. Most of that is the threat at this point, along with uh, a very small chance of some small hail as well as winds gusting over 45 miles an hour. The area and the, the section between Littleton, Gorham and Berlin certainly is the area of concern right now. That is where we are seeing the heaviest of the rain across the state and in a few spots here we've already seen locally over two inches of rainfall. Other spots a little farther south things have quieted down dramatically and here as we go forward through the day today we're going to continue to see a lot of that activity again dive south. So southern New Hampshire we're not quite done with this as far as the pockets of heavier rain. There is still the potential of a couple of stronger wind gusts or some very small hail out of these. But again, the main threat here for the next couple of hours is where that flash flood warning is posted, and that is for areas of Belknap, Carroll, Grafton and Coas County, and those go between uh, now and about 1115 for the western portion of it and until 115 this afternoon for others. And the best advice here, if you have to travel at all in that area, that corridor between about Littleton, Gorham and Berlin, is you don't want to travel over any areas of roadway that you see the water covering it because you don't necessarily know how deep it is. Water moving along has a very good strength to it that you wouldn't imagine, and it doesn't take much to start moving your car if you're traveling across it. All right, Kevin, thanks again. We are hearing about some flash flooding on the streets in Woodsville, New Hampshire right now. And we're also hearing that some of those floodwaters are able to get into a cottage hospital. We're waiting to hear the latest on that. But again, if you're in that area, as you mentioned, Woodsville uh, experiencing uh, some serious flash flooding right now. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning, of course, on WMUR.com as well.